hello everyone welcome back to my channel so as you could see I have my eyebrows done and I just did a video on that so you could go and check it out that is part one of part three and this my friends this video I'm going to be doing how I apply my foundation now I am not a professional nor am I one of those um, beauty gurus but this is how I do my makeup and I get my flawless look now it's gonna look a little crazy at first because makeup is crazy okay and then we're gonna show you how we even it out and then um, set the face this is what this video is about foundation and setting the face so if you want to see what I have for you today just keep on watching and I'll try to link these videos but the eyebrow is gonna go up first so you should definitely check that out if you haven't seen that one and you're watching this one go watch that one and then come back to this one okay so first I'm going to prime my face now girl I don't have much primers because I don't do all of that okay I sprayed my face with my matte setting spray by Shea. Um, then I use the GNC. I guess I use the GNC aloe vera cream. It's a moisturizing cream, and I like how it feels on my face, so I use it as my moisturizer and my primer what you know so I'm just gonna that a couple of hats on my face boom she boom 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 she boom 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 now this makes my face feel so nice so soft and all of that so I'm just gonna rubby rubby and that the, I rub it all over my face because all of my face gets oily. I mean, under my eyes, on my cheeks, and my forehead gets oily. But, sugar, everywhere gets oily. I'm not even going to lie to you. Because on a hot day, if I wear my makeup, <laughs> it's going to be running. Okay. Now this doesn't, oh, I lied. I'm not gonna say it doesn't feel tacky or anything, but it kind of does. So I'm just gonna adjust my camera. I hope the glare isn't in your eyes because I am using, as always, natural lighting. So I'm gonna get my foundation, which is black opal true color pore perfecting liquid foundation. Sounds like a commercial. I'm gonna shake her up. Every time you shake it, the cover always pops like that. It's annoying. This is, if you're wondering, oh, let's see. This is my natural nail. I'm actually growing my nails to see how far it will go. So, um, that's about four pumps, I think. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna spray it with my selling spray by she I'm trying to be bougie <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this and just dot it out over my thighs so I'm just gonna and you can see it's not full coverage but we're gonna work with it and I'm I like when your base is like when your base is natural because oh if your base is flawless it makes the rest of your makeup looks look um perfect so I'm just gonna meow 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 <laughs> If your base to me, if your base isn't so well covered, the whole face 
looks like be dudes. I'm not going to be using obscene anymore because I saw it the other day. I don't have much to talk about because, you know, I'm now new. Nobody asks me questions because I only, I don't have my subscribers anyways. So, um, I'm, I saw, I blend this into my hairline. Shout out. I saw um, the other day that this man was saying that, you know, with YouTube, you can't use obscene anymore. And I watch YouTube all the time. I was like, sugar, maybe YouTube isn't for you. <laughs> because I liked my words. But I said, you know what? I'm growing up. I'm getting older, not younger. So maybe I should try not to use this language. But, um, I use other words instead. Don't get it twisty. Um, God, it's looking like I'm seeing myself in the monitor. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit because the glare, like I'm seeing myself in the camera, but I'm reflecting on the screen. So it's kind of throwing me off. Wait, did I just blend my makeup by looking in the monitor? Looks crazy as hell. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw the other day, and he was saying, um, you know, no profanity, and I was like, YouTube. I thought this was YouTube, but I said, you know what? They have their rules. I'm just gonna follow them. I'm gonna follow what I say. Now I don't wanna have too much makeup on my face, girl. I'm just gonna use this brush like to take out some cold on my face. I thought this was my done. So yes. Um and I was like no profanity what i'm gonna say you know what girl just roll with it because this is something that i like doing so it honestly doesn't really matter i don't know why am i speaking like that i don't know i just <laughs> i'm just fascinated to see how your tongue gets feet when you talk like that and you know it doesn't matter I'm putting two more pumps on my hands. Let me stop it. So, this is, as I said, this is not full coverage. So, I just have to, you know, cover up my dark spots. See, I went with it again. So, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I can't stop. So, I'm just gonna blend it. Oh, and I'm not putting it right under my eye because I'm also going to put concealer. <laughs> I'm also putting concealer on my face. So, so I'm not putting any foundation close to my eye because if I wasn't putting concealer, which I recently started using and I like it, um, it's gonna have too much product underneath there i mean some people do it but i find i cake up so quick when i do that and i said it's gonna look a little crazy because it's liquid foundation it's have to dry down so i'm also looking i'm looking in the kylie palette mirror so um yeah i was like no profanity okay because i guess people use it abuse it or something but you know as time progresses and the what do you call it the um, internet is so global I guess it doesn't represent them well and also young children are now watching a whole lot of YouTube 
and they are mostly watching the people who um who uses the profanity so um i guess it is wise to cancel it out because um all these little children are subscribing to other people and they are mostly subscribing to the people who use profanity on a regular basis so i get it i do but sometimes it's just so hard when you know what you want and you can't do it man so now i'm gonna take my what's my powder i'm gonna take my powder and my powder color is in the color tobago tan this is made in my country i guess yes made in trinidad trinidad as in the caribbean yes so i'm just gonna take a lip now this powder goes along i have to stick back my brushes my brushes are falling apart this goes a long way. I had this powder for years, but I don't wear makeup every single day. So this is all that's gonna cover my face. Now it is a lot and I may not use all. Can you see that? So I'm just gonna dab dab it on them. Just to kind of set my face because my face is getting oily as we speak. And I'm sure you could see it. I'm just gonna mm, 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 mm. That's gonna set my faces. Can you see the difference? Wet, dry. I mean, the, the foundation isn't wet, but my oils is peeping out of my pores. So, it's gonna set that. Bitch, I did not put. Girl, I did not put on the concealer. Well, I guess it's good because I didn't actually put. Um powder under my eyes thank you for reminding me not so i'm going to take my concealer again i'm just going to give a little dab it on them hello one two three four five that's six actually <laughs> one two three four five six she doesn't have much product on the brush so yeah kind of the good thing I remember because I was like, why am I not going to my eyes? And then I remembered, oops, sugar. So I'm just gonna I'm trying not to let my eye water because somehow or the other my eye always waters when I do this. Uh uh wow. I'm asking myself, am I allergic to something? Or is having my eye open the hard part? See? There it is. I don't put on as much because, as I said, I don't really wear much makeup. Okay. And. With this melanin skin, mm -hmm. I can't do much. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, yes, girl, I'm gonna take this small brush before it gets any tougher. And uh huh, buff it out. I'm gonna take that same powder and I'm just gonna put it because I never liked this process. But then when I tried it, I was like, God. Now I'm going to put the, the Sasha Buttercup powder underneath. But, you know, when you use the Sasha Buttercup, I didn't understand what the face was about. I think I'm blind. Um, They put the concealer underneath your eyes and it's like, when you put the powder, it's almost like it's if you really tighten in your skin, I was like, sugar. 
What the? What kind of sorcery? I said I love it. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face it's between my eyes. Normally I do this part last, but I'm trying to do my makeup different ways. So I'm just gonna see what works for my. So I've done it one way for so long, setting the rest of my face. I just done it one way for so long that I said I want to try something new. Like the brows. I know I love the brows. Love the brows. So there my face is set. My under eye is set. It's starting to crease up my, and my eyes. There we go. So, shouldn't have done that. All right, so, I guess, I just love the, the powder and it really does give you a brighter under eyes. So I'm going for a more natural look so I didn't really want my under eyes to be so bright and I don't contour anything because now girl I'm not saying I don't know how to contour but I like when my face is round like for some reason what oh sorry for some reason when I do my makeup I always like when my face is looking round. No, um, um, what do you call it? Contouring. Now I can leave my eyes like this because it kind of looks like I have um, color in my eyes because I have this discoloration. But for some reason, like um, contouring for me, I feel like I like when my face is round. You know, I don't like when it's sculpting because I am thick so I kind of like the wrong look kind of like the wrong look of my face so I don't know I think I'll keep it I will try it though because I've never really tried <laughs> I've tried it already but it didn't work out but I'll try it and we'll see what happens I'll try it by doing a video with it and i'll see what will happen so this is how i get my makeup no, wait i'm not sure if this is flawless i have to make sure it's flawless right how i get my makeup flawless girls this is what i do i don't know what anybody else does but this is what i do and this is looking so nice like I did not expect. Now, I'm not accustomed to doing my makeup, but it's like I shock myself every single time. I shock myself. I don't know. Look at my shirt. My shirt is full of makeup. It's really disgusting. But I love it. I can leave my face like this on a natural day. Girl. Girl. See, I have the natural contour. Huh? So, that is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. This is what I do for my face. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. See you on my next one.